Hi everybody and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019 and a half Forest River Cedar Creek Silverback. This is the 33 IK fifth wheel model. This has all the latest changes that they actually started doing in July of 2018. If you've seen some of my earlier videos, you will know 19 came out in April of 2018. That's when the RV industry changed their titles. And the actual product changed in July. A lot of the RV industry waits till August and September, though. But I thought I'd do a quick video and kind of show you this new features on this one. Now, this particular camper was ordered with the standard... 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator they have an option for a 20 cubic foot and also an option for a gas electric version now the residential version works off of electricity when you're plugged in and then it works off of an inverter system when you're traveling down the road or boondock camping so in the coach the woodworking all changed so you have new color of wood this is the new cashmere fabric furniture. They also have a light almond color furniture. Now the almond color furniture is more of a leather material. It's not a fabric. So you have two choices. The unit has a freestanding dinette with four chairs. There's two traditional chairs that you see here. The seats do flip up for storage. There's two folding chairs that come with it and they are currently up in the storage uh, of the closet up front. The tabletop also has a leaf extension. So the tabletop actually comes open and has a leaf to go in there. Also, this unit was ordered with the optional Furion backup camera. This is an observation camera actually. So this one works while you're driving down the road and also uh, at lower speeds of backing up and things like that. So a little wireless monitor goes in the truck, the backup camera on the rear of the coach. One of the other changes that happened to the Silverback product is they went back to a flat slide-out roof instead of the vaulted roof that they were currently doing. This allowed them to put slide-out awning covers over top of the slide-outs that many people were asking for. They also went to a little bit larger windows, so you get more of a panoramic view looking out this side over your campsite area. It has the roller shades that pull down on the windows. They also did a little bit nicer finish around the edging of the window but you can see your roller shade there this unit was ordered with the optional power theater theater seating here now the power theater seating in place of the two standard recliners gives you a USB port also right there and then you get your cup holder and a little bit of a storage compartment in the center there where if you do the recliners you have to come up with some sort of little table or something that you can put in between there to set your drink on and you don't get the uh, USB charger there. A couple wall switches in between the lights to or in between the windows there to turn on and off the lights. Below the dinette is also an electric outlet there is another electric outlet over here by the couch. This large couch is also a height of bed sofa. So the cushions come off the bottom and a pull out sofa comes or bed comes out. This is currently Franklin furniture that they've switched to. This is made in America. Some nice overhead cabinets. They're pretty deep, so you can store quite a bit up there. You're also going to notice the new ceiling here. They've also gone back to a ceiling fan feature that was previously not available. The ceiling went back to a flat ceiling instead of the arch ceiling. 
So that also is one of the reasons that they were able to go back to that ceiling fan. You're going to notice you're not going to see the big square air conditioner in the roof. You can see on the left and right the returns for the Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning System. So this is a much nicer, quieter air conditioner system. This is high performance version. They're large 15,000 BTU airs. So it will definitely keep you pretty cold. The nice thing again though is it's quieter. So if you're sitting here and you're enjoying this nice fireplace, got the TV going, watching the game or whatever you want to watch, you're not having to scream at each other to actually watch TV. Overhead cabinets above the TV. Fireplace is basically some fancy lights. They are electric heaters. You have a storage area above here that you can put cable boxes, satellite boxes, that type of stuff. There's a hole right there so you can feed the wiring through and up into the radio system or up into the back of the TV. Now this is the new Jensen stereo system. This is Bluetooth. It's got HDMI hookups. Uh, it's basically a DVD stereo system, but it's also a multi-zone. There's three zones. You have sets of speaker inside and outside. You could add more if you wanted. Um, but you can actually set the outside speakers to one volume, the inside speakers to something totally different. So it's a pretty cool new stereo system. And it also has another USB charger right there. You're going to notice a lot of linoleum throughout the campers now. You can option in carpet in the living room and also option in carpet in the bedroom, but they have gone to more linoleum throughout the coach. You have an electric outlet on the end of the island there. Nice decorative island light up there. LED lights throughout the coach. So all these lights in this coach are LEDs except for the one in the bottom of the microwave. They have the new Furion oven. This is a huge improvement over the old ovens that were coming in campers. But a nice glass uh, door front here. Auto lighting oven. It's larger. And it also has a little LED screen. Kind of can tell you about temperatures. Auto light has a light inside the oven. So really cool upgrade over the old traditional RV ovens. Three burner gas stove top here. Electric outlet there and also a light switch. You have the larger 30 inch microwave. Some shelving above and beside. There's also a nice size little width, nice width drawer. It's not real deep, but a nice width drawer below the uh, oven there. Four drawers, full extending ball bearing drawer guides again. Some cabinet space below. And you have the undermount stainless sink with the high rise pull out sprayer faucet there. Nice matching solid surface sink covers. Over here you have some more shelf space, counter space I guess you should say, and you got a place to put your coffee pot or toaster, those type of things. You could do one thing by the oven over there, but this gives you a little more room. There's also USB charger port and electric outlet there and even a little window that does open. You can kind of see back here that lower part is actually a little coat closet. So there's little coat hooks in there to put your coat and stuff in or if you got a short broom or something you want to put in there. And then up above you have some more shelving. So quite a bit of storage area here for this kitchen.
another nice feature on the cabinetry here is they are hidden Euro hinges. So it just gives the cabinetry a little bit cleaner look when it's all closed up. Then up above us here is another nice fantastic fan. This fantastic fan actually works off of the wall switch here. So you have a thermostat, fan speed, up and down, all that right here. But it's all controlled by that little thing there. Dual zone climate control. So I can control both air conditioners along with my one furnace from right here. Again, both airs are ducted, whisper quiets, furnace is also ducted. On the furnace ducting, um, one thing I do occasionally get some comments on is they duct their furnace through the main subfloor. They do that for multiple reasons. Number one, it's actually a little bit thicker duct working than the cheap dryer hoses that a lot of the brands use when they're ducting it through cabinetry, taking up your space. So you're ducting through the floor. They also run the water lines through that subfloor next to that heat duct work so that it helps keep your water lines warm in the winter. So yes, you can drop some little things down in there, but it's only two screws to pop those things off and be able to clean them out if you do happen to get them dirty. On the base of the step there is your central vacuum system and also dustpan vac. It's a really nice cool feature having that dustpan vac right there. You just take a broom, you got all this linoleum in here, just sweep everything over here, kick it open, and sucks it all right up. You have your propane leak detector there, your electric box with your breakers and fuses. You have a little LED light on the step light there. And also, you're noticing linoleum again on the steps. No carpet to be wore out and stuff like that uh, over time. You have a little bit of space here. This is mostly just to help hide the controls here. This has the new in-command center. Really huge improvement for Cedar Creek's electrical system. Uh, when it first comes to you, it's got a passcode of basically just four zeros, so you can turn it on. But here you can control all kinds of things. Ceiling lights, island light, toe kick light, awning light, main awning, in and out, because you can actually option and second awning on some of the Cedar Creek stuff. Hydraulic slides in and out. Uh, all that type of stuff. Raise and lower hitches, control your hydraulic jacks, all kinds of different things, water pumps and stuff there. Um, so really nice features of some of the items there. Now, if you want to light your water heater on gas, you have a switch right here to do so. You have your ceiling fan on off switch right here. So looking back up toward the hallway section there, you have a nice little grab handle to help you get up and down the steps, uh, hallway light switch right there. Up here to our left is going to be our bathroom. At the bathroom, you have again in floor ducted heat. You're going to have your ceiling air ducted through the roof. Some cabinetry and a little shelf area under there so you can put some towels and washcloths and stuff in. Nice solid surface counter. So this is not cheapened up like a lot of brands cheapen up their bathroom counters. Electric outlet there. Good size medicine cabinet here. So it's quite a bit of room to store things in. Some wall light switches there. Another nice thing I like on this is the sliding pocket door here for the bathroom door. So this just slides across. So when you come out here half asleep at night, you don't have to fight which way the door swings and step down the steps or step up the steps to kind of come up into the bathroom. So it's a little more convenient getting in and out of there. Porcelain foot flush toilet. You have a sliding glass shower door. 
It's not a real high step up into there too, which is nice. The unit does have a seat to where you can sit down in there if you need to. It's great for the ladies like to sit down and shave their legs. The shower wall changed a little bit in color along with the faucet itself changed. There is a skylight up above. There is also a nice large fan up there too. Fantastic fan, three-speed fan. Helps exhaust out all that humidity and moisture from taking a shower. You have some more shelving and cabinet space back there too. Looking up toward the front of the coach again, we are in the bedroom. So here again in the bedroom, you're noticing linoleum floor. No carpet right there. Again, option for the carpet if you want to do the carpet again. Nice flat screen TV on a wall mount. Window, electric outlet, four drawers. Full extending ball bearing drawer guides again. Nice clean roof again. So when you're in here trying to sleep, you don't have that loud air conditioner above you. You've got the better whisper quiet again. There you can see the two folding chairs kind of stored up in there. The closet is a large closet. You can do washer dryer if you want. You don't have to, but you can. This one was ordered with the washer dryer prep. It has a low clothes bar, and then up above you have a larger, longer clothes bar too. Couple electric outlets over there. Nice built-in shelf into the front of the nose cap of the camper. So it does give you quite a bit of extra space. I know it's a little hard to see, but... Uh, and you have another shelf over there. You can see the Wi-Fi uh, setup that it's got built in. That is a Wi-Fi extender. So if you go to a park that has Wi-Fi, you can tap your system into theirs to help bring in the internet signal a lot better. It's also good for mobile hotspots on your phone and things like that. Now this customer ordered theirs with the queen bed. You can also get a king bed. But you pick up an extra 5 inches on each side of the bed if you do the queen. Electric outlet there. Shelf on both sides of the bed. Window on both sides of the bed. USB chargers on both sides of the bed. There's actually two USB ports on each side, so you could plug in four items there if you needed to. Electric outlet on that side of the bed. So for the customers with CPAP machines and stuff like that, there's quite a bit of electric availability here to do that type of stuff. The wall is kind of set back in a little bit there on that side. So you do get a little more space on this side of the bed. You can see your ducted floor heat there. But this is nice if you wanted to put another little shelf there. Uh, you also have your little coat hooks up there. But that can be used for multiple purposes. Just a little bit more room. Alright, we're going to take a minute and walk you through the outside of the coach here. I'm going to walk on out. Now, one thing that's really nice going in and out of this coach is this upgraded more ride step. You'll notice the little hump here on this side. It's because it has a shock assist on it to raise this step up and down. We're walking out nice aluminum tread plates there. They have some grip to them. But this is one of the nice things on this step. Because of that shock assist on there, it holds itself up. So it makes it real easy for somebody to pick it up and raise it in and out of the door there. Adjustable legs also. Another cool feature, they have a little step light down there for night, and they also engraved the Cedar Creek name into the step. Large folding entry handle on the outside of the coach. 
We're going to step back here so you can see the overall outside here. Again, new features for the 19 and a half change. Graphics changed, lower coloring of the metal changed. The fiberglass cap on the front changed also. You can see a nice rollover transition of the roof up there. So it's less likely to tear over time. Some brands have a real sharp transition between the roof to the wall. And it uh, has some issues on some brands like that. You have a power awning. LED light strip built in that you can see there. Nice tented frameless windows. You can option in dual pane windows. You have two outdoor speakers. You can see that storage compartment there has the shock assist. Thicker baggage doors with the slam locks also. There's two 30 pound propane tanks behind that door there. Um, down below is a gas line hookup so you could plug in a portable grill now another really nice thing i like about cedar creek stuff you can see how they bring their rolled metal all the way down to the frame down here a lot of brands you see all that frame working and stuff and it just over time looks real crappy as it starts to rust and corrode and things but they do a real nice job of bringing that metal down Six-point automatic leveling jack system. You do have a standard screen door and entry door. It is a little wider than some brands, but uh, it does have a peephole looking out the door instead of a window. So that's something that's a little bit different. This unit was ordered with the optional slide-out awning covers. Nice aluminum wheels. Has the Dexter Easy Flex suspension in between those axles, which kind of acts as a little bit of a shock absorber. Also has the Dexter Never Adjust brakes, which are basically self-adjusting. So you don't have to take your drums apart and adjust the brakes by hand like some of the cheaper models on the market. LED running lights. Again, ordered with the optional backup camera you can see up there in the center. The unit has a flat rear end with a bumper. This one was ordered with the inch and a quarter bike rack receiver hitch down there, so you could put a bike rack on there. Um, nice ladder, easy to get up and down. The unit is a full enclosed underbelly and they're sectionalized panels so it's stronger than the cheaper ABS one piece that a lot of brands use but they come apart in sections so it's easier to work on in case of maintenance problems in the future. Another really nice feature on the coach is it comes with 12 volt heated holding tanks standard. A lot of brands use just the furnace with a little two inch heat duct blowing some air down into that basement. And a lot of customers like to use little electric cube heaters in the winter time, which does not allow the furnace to work properly. Therefore their holding tanks start to freeze. So they do a little bit above and beyond some of these other brands. You can see underneath the here, nicely finished off. You can see your spare tire underneath of there. Low point water drain underneath of there also. Even the bottom of the slide out nicely finished off. See the real nice shine in that fiberglass. That is a true high gloss gel coat infused phylon. Uh, it's a better type of fiberglass than what a lot of brands use. So a really nice fiberglass. Cedar Creek has a really great construction video that you ought to check out on their website. It's not a laminated coach. It's actually a hand-built unit that does not depend on a bunch of glue to hold it together. We have some customers that are sensitive to some of the fumes and stuff like that that the glues cause when laminating campers. And this is a great unit for them because it's not as bad on the gassing and fuming as some of those laminated cheaper units. 
Nice detachable power cord, your furnace right there, water heater again, larger water heater, gas electric system right there. Docking station has your low point water drains, uh, I'm sorry, your bypass system right here for winterization. Front cap lights, the cap does have some lights built in right there. Outside utility shower, slide out on off valves, bypasses, battery disconnects. Your dump valves are right here, color-coded, gray, gray, and black, but they're also labeled back there, too. Controls for your auto level system also can be done right here. Powered, uh, I'm sorry, power cord reel right there. This door here for the baggage door is kind of cool. It swings sideways instead of up because you have your slide out for the bedroom right here. It's easier to make it swing and safer so that it doesn't hit that slide or damage that slide if you were to accidentally raise it up and try to crank the room in. Down below, a couple low point water drains, battery compartment here. You can do up to, I think, four batteries inside of this compartment, if I remember correctly. Uh, your inverter for your re residential refrigerator right there. Hydraulic reservoir. And you also have a hydraulic on open-close button here for the slides. So you can do that from outside if you wanted to. Some instructions and stuff right here also. Information about the coach. Production date, 10-26 of 18. VIN number, two 6,000-pound axles. Gross vehicle weight, 14,067 pounds. You have hitch weight and you have axle weight. These legs down here, you can see, are holding a good portion of the weight of the camper. They're not there just for looks. If you took away those legs, the thing would fall down on its face. I always get questions. How can you have 6,000 pound axles and a 14,000 pound weight? Because the hitch weight is completely different than the axle weight of a camper. Again, be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money. Toll free number 888 417 8299, extension 203. Dry weight can be found here on the hitch pin. The camper's 11,375 pounds the way it sits right now. You also have another big compartment down there. This just pops open. Oh, it is actually locked, so we'll skip that for now. But uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Again, my name is Ray. If you have any questions, give me a call. Toll-free number 888-417-8299, extension 203, couchesrvnation.com. Thanks for checking out my video.